In today's video I will be showing you a best tool, best registry tweaks, and best Fortnite settings to boost FPS and fix stutter in Fortnite season off. By doing this you can easily get an FPS boost and fix most of the lags and stutters on any PC and laptops. So if you're new here hit that subscribe button for more content let's dive into the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games, using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description, and play your game with lower ping. Go to my website and download the FPS Boost tool and tweaks file from the link in the description. These optimizations aim to enhance gaming performance and FPS. Install Park Control and follow the guided settings to potentially enhance gaming performance and FPS. And now we can see guys that it's gonna show us exactly which CPU we running. For me it's AMD Ryzen 740 700X with 8 cores and 16 frets. And as you can see, my stock core speed is right now 3.59 GHz. And now here on the top, this is where the magic happens boys. Here we get the CPU so, settings for power profile. And we're just simply gonna click on this drop down menu and go to bit some highest performance. This is the best mode guys. by the way um. You can use whatever you want, but the bit some highest performance is gonna the give maximum you. amount of FPS. And as you can see, everything got already changed here automatically. We don't need to apply anything for ourselves. And obviously, you don't want to put in like a low power mode here on top because we just want to boost it to the maximum. Just to sum this up real quick guys, um, this program does automatically determine which are the best settings for your CPU. And as you can see, it's gonna adjust the boost settings here all by himself. And just simply click here on apply. And the new settings have been applied. But what I would also recommend you is to enable the bitsum dynamic boost, since this is like a better power plan than the high performance one we already enabled in previous tutorials. Just gonna read it out real quick. This handy feature forces the PC to be on bitsum highest performance power plan while active, but the lowest the CPU, the more conservative power plan when it goes idle. And what is this? Pretty much is gonna boost or apply like this new power plan you guys, which we have to set up here again. I can disrupt them and yes, you can see when the PC I'll is. use the bits in highest performance one. And we're just gonna, gonna press here OK. And then here, OK as well. And if you now actually take a look at our power plan list, we can see that the Bitsum highest performance power plan is enabled. Provides Bitsum optimized CPO performance. And this is truly the best one. You can get out there guys. Run the registry tweaks to disable Quenergy driver and disable network throttling to potentially boost gaming performance and FPS. Run the process mitigation disablement tweak to potentially enhance gaming performance and FPS. Type in run. Until you find the run application, just simply open it up. And in here, type in misconfig. Just simply written out like this. Just simple. Press OK here. And the new system configuration window here should pop up. And if we go over to boot, we can see now that we get the advanced options here for our current operating system. And yeah, just simply opened up here. Advanced options. And then we see your number of processors. And usually it's just on one here. Just simply put the check in here. And now you can put the maximum amount of frets. And since I'm running a 8 core 16 fret CPU, I can put it all the way up to 16 guys. And this is exactly what I would recommend. You just simply put the highest number possible in there to just make sure that your CPO is running at 100% and all the cores and all the extra fats are utilized always. And then just simply press OK press here. Press apply. Press OK again. And now it says you um that you should probably restart your PC for everything to apply correctly. Um you can do this later on. I would recommend you to just watch the rest of the video so you apply all the steps and then restart your PC. But you can of course also do right now. First thing, which we are of course going to do in Epic Games Launchers. Going to library. Just simply clicking on these three dots next Fortnite, to Fortnite um. Then go into verify. And as you can see now, Fortnite is trying to fix itself. If there are any missing files or any issues with your game files themselves, if experiencing any stutter or stuff like that, Fortnite is trying to replace these files or maybe like fix them if they're like broken or something. This gonna take only like a short while. And afterwards, you can launch a Fortnite. Please launch it once and check if the issues are maybe fixed already. Open up the file explorer of Windows 10. And as you can see guys, here I'm writing on the local. This see where my Fortnite is installed. It's for most of the people gonna be on local this. See um yeah. Depending on Just where. simply install your Fortnite. And then you have to go into program files. Go into Epic Games Fortnite. Fortnite Game Binaries Windows 64. And as you can see guys here. This is pretty much the um folder with all the exit data for Fortnite. And what I want you to do in the first place is click onto Battle Eye. And now you can see here on Battle Eye, we get the inside battle. I think if your battle is not working properly guys. Um, which is the onto cheat software of Fortnite. Just simply make sure to uninstall it here real quick. It's not gonna take a long time. And as you can see, Bedlay is successfully uninstalled. And then simply again, go on to install Bedlay. And now we successfully uninstalled and installed Antitude of Fortnite again, which is a huge cause for stutter. Or maybe some in-game crashes or stuff like that. So if you're experiencing any of these issues, this should be fixed by now. 
And what I would also recommend you is going to Easy Anti Cheat, which is here as well. And they can just simply click on it. This is also one of the anti cheat services off Fortnite. And as you can see, right now we here, got the current game selected. Just simply press Repair Services. And if you're experiencing any issues with your anti cheat on Fortnite, which can also cause a game to not start and stuff like that, um, it should be fixed by now and sell successfully. It says here on the bottom line. So just press on finish here. And we pretty much done here in this Fortnite folder as well, guys. Reboot your computer to apply changes and improve gaming FPS and performance.